First at 10, a family in Carbon County is searching for answers after their three-year-old son was hit by a car. Good evening, I'm Ann Lurie. And I'm Aaron Leedy. Thankfully, the child only has minor injuries, but there are still unanswered questions. Fox 56's Jake Sauer spoke exclusively with the family and officials this afternoon. <laughs> Three-year-old Jax Heckman spent Thursday afternoon taking it slow following an incident. While Jax was with his family at Lake and Area High School on Tuesday, he ran away from his older brother and was hit by a car in the parking lot. He yelled that he was that he got away from him. So I was in the middle of walking over, but then the car came out and then I started screaming, but the car didn't hear. Jace, Jax's brother, witnessed the incident as he attempted to grab his brother again. I was trying to run and all I see is him running the car and his arm, I think his arm and leg got ran over. So then he was just laying on the floor and a lot of people just started to come and help us. Kayla Heckman, Jax's mom, says the community quickly jumped into action to help the family. There was two nurses that were there not on duty. They came running over. Um, the lady had a neck brace in her car. They called 911. Although she couldn't see the license plate, Heckman recalls the car being a black SUV that even stopped afterwards. They stopped for like, I want to say like 15 seconds. And then they just kept driving. I thought they were coming around, but they didn't. Fortunately, Jax didn't suffer any serious injuries and only sustained some bruises and scrapes. It was perfect how the right people were there at the right time. He is pretty sore and cranky. He doesn't really want to walk around. Um, <laughs> but we are thankful because it could have been like 10 times worse. The family is working with the borough's police department and seeking answers as to why someone wouldn't stop. I'm not expecting anything. It's just... You don't drive away from a three year old laying on the ground. Although unavailable for an interview today, the chief did confirm that the incident is being investigated by his department. In Lehigh and Borough, I'm Jake Sarwar, Fox 56 News, first to 10. And we did reach out to the superintendent who says in part the district is working with the Lehigh and Borough police in the investigation. We hope for a quick recovery for the child and their family.